Hello everybody, my name is Dude and welcome back to Asagao Academy! Let's deal with this trauma. If anyone doesn't remember what happened last time, uh, we found out the normal boots were stolen and that while she claims she didn't do it, Mai tells us she's a kleptomaniac. So if she did take the boots, um, she couldn't help it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep her secret. I mean, she claims she didn't do it, and she knows that she she just admitted to us that she is a klepto. So I don't want to like. I don't want to think she did it. She, she. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm I'm gonna trust her. I won't tell anyone unless you want me to. I promise. Anna. Anna. Thank you. I hurled herself around her desk and into my arms. <laughs> no problem. No problem, buddy. No problem. It's all good. Really, thank you. I know things look bad now, but we're on each other's side. Yeah. As long as we can rely on each other, nothing else matters. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Friendships has, ha has happened. Yay. As the clock neared the end of lunch, my stood up and took my tray. I'll take these back. Oh, thank you. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. I got no problem walking over to. She left. Her footsteps a calm, calmly measured march. She seemed to be feeling better. Maybe everything would work out? I don't know. I hoped so. Me too. I hope you guys do too. Thanks. One by one, students filtered into the classroom. I kept my eyes on my desk, running around across the grooves in the wood war. Worn wood. Ha! Huh. Wood worn wood. Worn wood worn. What would it feel like to run my hands across it? I wanted to find out, but I was too afraid to move. Hana. I flinched at the sound of my name on another student's lips. The heat of several pairs of eyes lay thick on my face like a ray of sunlight. I didn't want to look at them. I couldn't look at them. Most of them were ugly. And I think the teacher still may have influenced the other students to try crack cocaine. I didn't want to look at them. It's disgusting. It's like all sorts of white shit. Oh, whatever, I'm going too far. Anyway, the, the grooves at my desk really were very interesting. Looping and swirling around. If it were a canyon, I'd fly a plane through it. Could you, though? They probably weren't looking at me. In all likelihood, I was imagining all of this. Yeah. Yeah! How stupid of me. As if I were the center of the world. Silly Hana. She stole? But she looks so docile. Oh. This is way too familiar. Suddenly I felt lightheaded as if my mind was no longer tethered to my body. Instead, I was floating up along the ceiling of the room. The place people feel when they roll their eyes in the back of their heads. Oh. The familiar scene played out before me. Oh god, no! So selfish. You think you're better than us? What? Oh. Look at this girl. Who does she think she is? Say something! Ow. I was cowering on the floor behind my, beside my desk. It was after school. I'd come into the classroom to get a textbook that I'd forgotten and run into three girls. The girls who used to be my friends. You copied off my test, didn't you? No! No, I didn't. Why would I? How did you get to be the top of the class then? How'd you manage to catch Nami's boyfriend, huh? You've been sleeping around, haven't you? Oh, I haven't! You guys know I wouldn't do that. Liar. No wonder, too. Your mother wasn't around much to teach her proper manners. Oh. 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 Well, it's this kind of douchery, huh? Hana, I hope you not only slug one of them, but I hope you break their nose. I mean, she, pro she probably didn't, and if she did, she'd get in trouble. I'd feel better. I thought I'd feel better knowing that we slugged the person and broke their dick. I mean, nose. I mean, face dick. 
Whatever. I bet her mom taught her how to sleep around. Haven't you seen her father? Oh. I was standing. The book I threw lay on the opposite side of the classroom. Nami having ducked to avoid it. Um. Hana? Well, I'm very... Uh. Well, I'm very, like... Hmm. How do I word this? I'm very proud of you for trying to defend yourself. Uh, you missed. And now they're going to go tell the teacher. Wow, you're right. A bastard child from a bastard family. She'll never amount to much. But I feel so threatened now. I think I'll tell the principal what happened. Oh, God. Don't mind cleaning up for us, then? We couldn't clean the classroom because another student attacked us. And we are all such good friends. Why would we lie about this? I moved to the utility closet at the back of the room and grabbed a broom. I had a girl. Guess she learned something from her mother after all. <gasps> we had a flashback of... Oh, hi, my... We had a flashback of Dickory. No, we're not okay. You're shaking. Yeah! Yeah, we're shaking. Um... PTSD just struck. We should probably, um, not be here. That, that, that'd be step one of getting any kind of progress done today. We need to not be in this room. We need to not be the center of attention at the moment. That would also help. Or at least not in the center of attention is in a negative light. We need to be in a positive light. We need to be around things that we're happy with. We need to be in a happy place. This is not a happy place. I opened my mouth to respond, only for my teeth to start chattering again. Class? Okay, class, today we're going to... I raised my hand. Hana, what is it? Bathroom? Emergency? Please? Alright, but be quick about it. You cannot rush... Depressions... Like... You cannot rush the... The... the I don't want to say cure, but like... You cannot rush a mental problems... Fixing. I guess. It's not even technically fixing, it's more like dealing with it at the moment. You cannot rush the deal with the dealing with of a mental disorder. That, that That's not how that works. I'm sure you would know, miss. I have crack in my hand all the time. I headed for the door, feeling as though I, move, I was moving through ether. Three familiar green jackets didn't move a muscle as I shut it behind me. I hope they wouldn't. Or if they would, like, shift in their chairs uncomfortably, like, Oh my god, did we just make her feel like shit because we talked about her and she hurt us? Maybe we should go apologize. That would be a good idea. Just a thought. Hallway oh, passed before me in a blur. All I could hear was the sound of my own breathing and the blood pounding in my head. Ugh. I can hear it, too. I reached the restroom. A quick glance told me it was empty. All stall doors open picked one and rushed in, slamming the door and closing the lid of the toilet. Then I sat, pulling my knees up to my chest. <laughs> I, I hate this. Deep breaths, Hana, deep breaths. Yeah, breathe! Breathe! Breathe, you're in a better place now. You're not in that shithole. Those students are gone. Your uniform's different, the door's locked, and no one's going to crawl under it like last time. You're safe. Calm down, deep breaths. As I breathed, my eyes wandered across the sterile gray tile and thick metal walls separating the stalls. Wow, those are really thick. I never see that ever. Then again, maybe it's a school thing, I don't know. But, like, yeah, every stall I've ever been to had, like, some kind of thick plastic and, like, bits of metal and, like, there's room to crawl under. In case the door happens to be locked. Smells get through it, and then shit hits the fan, and then just like everybody doesn't courtesy flushes the dick. Really, look did look different from my old school. There wasn't even graffiti on the back of the doors that said "fuck bitches dick," "shit dick." How in the world would Terry let people know she and Bobby would be together forever now? <laughs> I giggled. Pull yourself together, Hana. This isn't the end of the world. Sure, things are bad, but... You're my best friend, Hannah. That! Your score. That's incredible. No. 
The Hana I know would never hurt another person. And that. You've got friends. You've got people that trust you. You've got a gamer score that's pretty fucking impressive for puzzle games. And so what if Shane doesn't trust you? Fuck him! Not the actual one, but fuck the Asagao Academy, Shane. That's a dickbag. I mean, everyone else seems so nice and except for him. He's the problem child in the Asagao Academy gloop group thing. Gloop? And the normal boots gloop. I've already changed. But I'm still so, so... Mm -hmm. uh, what am I even doing here? Crying in a bathroom stall because people are whispering about me? Mm -hmm. Get a hold of yourself, Hana. Grow up. Hey, you had a moment of weakness. This is fine. I had those too. I'm sure all of you have had that at some point. It's fine. I'm sure even the people that were bullying you had those at some point, and to cope with it, they did a stupid thing, and they can never really take back. Except with, like, an apology in the future. But it's... Eh, depends on how they fix it at this point. Do you want this to be it for the rest of your life? Every time someone even is even the slightest bit mean to you, you run and hide? Start crying and looking for someone to take the fall in your stead? What are you doing with yourself? This can't... This won't be my future. Don't be so hard on yourself. But that is good that you're resolving to not make that thing, but accept that you had a moment of weakness and that you... try, And then try not to let it happen again. You don't have to, like... Be that hard on yourself about it. I unlocked and pushed the door to the bathroom stall. My face, tear-stained and pink, stared back at me from the mirror. I'm going to change. From now on, I'm making ma taking matters into my own hands. I will find the boots. I'll clear my name and my too. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I'll find the missing butch bucks for Satch. He's been so kind to me. I've been letting him take everything upon himself. Who does he have? Who does he have when things go bad? Apparent. I'm guessing his club mates. But they seem to be doing their own things. So I don't know. I want to be someone people can lean on. I want to be someone who can actually help other people. I rinsed my face in the sink and dabbed it with a rough paper towel. It's time that things change. Yes. We are making a positive step in life. Towards not dickery. That, that is good. Doing good. Making progress. It's a good day. Good day for learning and maybe finding things and solving mysteries. I walked back into the classroom, shoulders square and eyes staring straight ahead. She just took a pause her lecture, waiting for me to take my seat. This time, I could see the other students' heads turning, following my movement across the classroom. I ignored them. When I shat, when I shat, <laughs> when I shat, <laughs> when I shat, Miss Shizuka began teaching again. A slight smile on her face, and her nose covered from the smell that I just made. God damn it. When her back was turned, my tapped my shoulder. Dude, are you okay? That really smelled. I turned to her yeah. to face better than ever. <laughs> she smiled but waited me, me, watched me for a few seconds. I tried to put as much of my resolve into my eyes as I could. <laughs> I could do this. Finally, she nodded, and I turned to my classroom. First, I had to get through class. After that, the library. Yes. Be strong, Hana. I entered the library. The slightly damp smell of old books and little sunlight tugging my clothes. The smell of shit still in my pants. <laughs> okay, I'm, an, I'm done with the shit jokes. Bypassing clumps of students with their heads hung over homework, I went straight to the front desk. I had a mission. A mission to make the Satch Man happy. Or at least try to help him. He might not accept it, but... Satch stood behind it, searching frantically for something in the piles of sta paper stacked along the back wall. He kept shaking his head and pausing, almost as if he were muttering to himself, running his hands over his hair. It was... odd. He never looked... he looked really stressed. That wasn't normal for him. That wasn't normal boots for him! 
<laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just gonna move on now. I almost didn't want to interrupt, but I came here for a reason. Excuse me. He jumped slightly. Hana. Oh, Hana. How can I help you? When he smiled, it almost seemed as if nothing was wrong. Even though that clearly wasn't the case, the strangest thing was that the smile didn't seem disingenuous. He was truly smiling, happy or content about something. Probably to see us! That's good! That's good, we're a positive in his life. We're friends! He likes us. Yeah, I... Sash would never ask for help, even if he needed it. You alright? You don't seem very well. Sash glanced around him before replying in a low whisper. More books have gone missing. Oh. Mine's not due for another few weeks, so at least I'm not the one hurting you this time. My joke fell flat as a dead raccoon. What? Was, uh... I have never heard that expression before. I don't- I don't think I want to hear it again. Ah, uh, it maybe you shouldn't make expressions like that again. Satch's face caved in. He stared at the, at the counter in front of him. It's... It's not looking good for me. What? What do you mean? He opened his mouth but didn't speak. After a pause, he began to chew his lip. And something strange happened. He seemed to almost gather himself up. He took a deep breath, set his shoulders back, and smiled. Don't worry about it. It made my heart break. I wanted to crawl around the counter and give him a hug. I wanted to feel the weight of his head against my shoulders, something to help him unload the burdens he carried. But as I looked at his smile, I realized he didn't want me to. More than that, he didn't want me to. Maybe if I were Gerard or Paul, but not Hana. Not right now, at least. Maybe during the flower festival we were close enough to share some of our burdens, but now? Sash was struggling, and he didn't trust me enough to let me see it. My heart dropped. My neck grew hot. How exactly am I not supposed to worry about it? He waved a hand as if swatting a fly away. It'll be fine. No, you won't. Well, I have no doubt you'll be fine on your own, but it was now or never. Maybe he didn't want my help, but he still needed it. I paused for a second, trying to find the best way to word my intentions. Well... You need help, fucker! Take my help! I would have shouted in the library right there, but I, I guess maybe I should. You're already trying to help me. You have so much on your plate. The least I can do is help you find the missing books. Two heads are better than... Uh... No, really, that won't be necessary. Why not? Other people are here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I'm your friend. I want to help you, Satch. Sash looked at me skeptically. He really didn't trust me, did he? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give up on this. Really, Hana, that's kind of you, but... I looked around him in desperation. I don't think that would be helpful. Please, just let me handle this. I've got everything under control, I swear. <gasps> I'm starting to think it's less about him trusting us, but more about him wanting to do the work. On his own. He seems proud. He's like, way too proud. Like, the kind of proud that you don't want to be ever. The kind of proud that won't ever accept help no matter what. Especially if it's a job you sign up for. It's like, his, it, the library is his responsibility. So, he really doesn't feel like he needs to accept help. But he clearly does need the help. So we should probably go behind his back and help him anyway. He'd probably take it that. Sash glanced over his shoulder. Uh-huh. I mean it. Alright, be good. I gotta get back to work. I'll see you later. Satch stepped out of the out from behind the counter and went into a back room. The librarian waited there, a stern look on her face. I turned and started back through the thick aisles of books. Now what? If someone really didn't want your help, wasn't it kind of bad to force yourself on them? But the question was, did he really not want my help? I was sure it wasn't because he didn't want or need it. It was because, for all he said he believed I didn't take the boots, he didn't trust me. Not at all. No, I think he trusts you. In fact, he'd probably take your help if he was allowed to, or if his morals allowed you to do it. But... Either it's pride, 
or it's the librarian being an extra bitch. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit of both. Hmm. As if telling me to not help is going to do anything. He's got another thing coming if that's what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Show him, Hana! I was going to say fuck his ass, but don't do that. That might be a... I'd make this a porn game. I don't want to see. I don't want to see this turn into a porn game. That that's creepy, especially since it's based on real life people. Sometimes people just don't know what's best for them. Of course, I was assuming I knew better than he did about what he wanted, but I had to do something. I wasn't just gonna sit around and wait while he was in trouble. It's not looking good for me. Whatever that meant, I was. I wanted to make sure it didn't start looking any worse. And there. I snipped the blades of my scissors shut and a small book-shaped cutout fell into my lap. I set it into its pile and rolled out my shoulders. Finally, four thick piles of multicolored construction paper sat neatly before me. My hands ached from cutting so much at once. I set the scissors aside and grabbed the permanent marker that sat on my desk, along with the cloud-shaped decorations I made earlier. What are we doing? Hey, Hana, I'm back. How'd it go? How'd the game go? I want to know how this went. I face flushed cheer as cheerfully as usual, bounded into the room. Hey. I was practice. I went to practice for the Asagao Strikers almost every evening. Their first big game was coming up, but it was at another school, so I didn't. I wouldn't be able to go see her play. It bothered me a lot, but I was slightly relieved not to have to witness the pyre of burning rage that was my playing volleyball. I mean, streaming technology is a thing. That that. I could, that could be a thing. I, you could, someone could go and then stream it, and then you could watch it on Twitch or something. Just a thought. It was fine, but I totally struck Mimi in the. Uh, what's the in the what? In the what? Where'd you strike her? The penis? I have to know. <laughs> Does Mimi have a penis? <laughs> Does Mimi have the penis? <laughs> Mai dropped her duffel bag into her chair, surveying the mass of construction of papers spread out across the, the floor with myself at the center. <laughs> Didn't know we had to do arts and crafts here. I'm making flyers. Actually, would you mind helping? It'll take me another few hours by myself. Sure, what are they for? She plopped herself on the floor and took up one of the stick figures I made. Some books have gone missing at the library, so I figured we could put up flyers reminding people to turn their books in on time. Oh. Missing books? I tossed a few sheets of paper at her feet, then uncapped a glue stick and started attaching the images. Yeah, they've been missing since a few weeks ago, but now it's getting worse. One of the books was just one I forgot to turn in, so I figured maybe that happened with all the books. I spiraled the stick figure in her hands, so it looked like I was it was doing cartwheels. They can look up who has late books in the system, you know. Yeah. But maybe it'll help anyways. I mean, if they did that, why aren't they doing it? It doesn't seem like they're doing it. Why? Is the librarian just not using technology? Did, did they not think of it? Like, Or is someone stealing the books? I would trust Mai to not knowingly do that. I mean, I trust her with the boots, but the book, I don't know. She grabbed a paper book and smeared glue all over the back. People do forget, so maybe half can be reminders and half can be lost and found notes. Yeah, okay. That, that works. That's good. Together we worked through a pile of papers each. We compared handwriting and competed to see who could make the nicest flyer. I won, of course. It reminded me of kindergarten, and it was oddly comforting. We ran out of images of books. I was just handing Maya a permanent marker to start drawing them on... Drawing them when we slapped her leg with the back of her hand. What? Oh, shoot. I totally forgot. I left something in the gym. I should go get it. Okay, hurry back. Yeah, no problem. See you in a bit. Odd. It wasn't like Maya to forget something. Usually she only forgot something when she wanted to copy my homework. As I started on the third pile, I began to feel distinctly sad. Why? My hand stilled on the paper, a memory stirring in my mind. Please don't be a bad one. Please don't be a bad one. 
Please, no bad memories. No more sads. No more sad. I need to click on. Back in Amaririsu, my parents ran a shop together. My dad created beautiful works of art, pottery and ceramics, and my mother filled them with flowers. the flowers she grew. He tried to teach... She... Yeah! He tried to teach me how to make pots, but I could never do it. I got too nervous seeing how easily one mistake can completely alter what you are making. Instead, one day he came to my room with a pile of papers. He folded them, and in seconds, a blue morning glory appeared in front of my eyes. How did you do that? Smiling, he handed me a purple paper and taught me how to fold a morning glory, step by step. When I finished, we sat them side by side. Mine was crumpled and stunted next to this crisp, beautiful creation. But he laughed. Separate, neither would be considered beautiful. Eh, maybe, but we were new to folding paper. We're new to origami, it's fine. I've been wanting to do that myself. But I've never done it, so I had a fine paper to do that with. I blinked. In front of me sat a morning glory. A blue morning glory, the cover of a book sticking out of one petal. Hmm. Slowly I made my way through that pile of flyers and then the next. The shadows grew longer and longer until they faded all together. When I finally finished it was after nine, and Mai still hadn't returned. Yeah. Why? What happened to Mai? She okay? She okay there? That... Uh, I'm kinda concerned there. I lay back on the floor, exhausted, and glanced at the clock. It shouldn't have taken her this long just to get to the gym. Did she run into someone? I couldn't wait up for her. I had to get up early. I cleaned up, changed into my pajamas, and crawled into my soft, cool sheets. Without my snoring, the room seemed intensely still. The silence was trying to press itself into my skull. I hope she's okay. Me too. The room blurred and I drifted off to sleep. Is that my? Why? Eh, what was happening? I couldn't see. My eyes wouldn't stay open. So late. My. She closed the door and tiptoed to her desk. She was being so damn loud. Turned over, vaguely angry. Too tired. I want to sleep. Rustling of paper echoed from her side of the room. <laughs> Quiet. The drawer shut. Mai climbed up to her bed and the mattress hung over me, and my head sagged. I glanced at the clock. It was past midnight. She only just got back? Something seemed wrong. School wasn't in session right now. What? I couldn't think straight. My head hit the pillow and I turned over, drifting off to sleep again. What happened? What, what had happened? Should I be mildly concerned about this? And early the next morning, I scurried to the halls, searching for Satch. I had to catch him before he went into class. There was no way I could show my face in the senior's classroom with everyone still hating me. I turned the corner and was confronted with a flash of bright yellow. Hey! Hey, Caddy, how, how you doing? I'm up to no good. That, that's about it. Caddy stood in front of me, his head tilted to one side. I didn't know him too well. In fact, it was, this was possibly the first time we ever spoke Daddy. on our own. Hey, Caddy, have you seen Satch? I think it was up a floor. Something wrong? Nah, I made these flyers and I wanted to give them to him. I nodded at the pile of papers I was holding. They were ne nearly as tall as my torso. Caddy blinked, as if seeing them for the first time. Cool? He smiled weakly. I paused. Is something wrong? He shoved his hand into his jacket pockets and glanced around the hall. I wouldn't say anything is wrong, per se. He trailed off, but didn't volunteer any information. Is it about the tournament? In a way, you could say that. He cast his eyes at the floor. Things suddenly don't look so good for us. That's too bad! Why? <laughs> why? Why? Why is that a gleeful thing? Why is that good? He looked truly sad, but try as I might, I couldn't hide my glee. He looked at me in surprise, then a sharp gleam entered his eyes. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's in the bag yet, Miss Snow. Well, we can still give you a run for your money, <laughs> if you say so. Giggling madly, I scurried past him and up a staircase. Did I sense pride in Hana? Oh, Hana's growing up so well. 
fingers start were starting to cramp. It wasn't that the flyers were particularly heavy, though they were by no means light. They were horribly awkward to carry, especially up staircases. I pushed the staircase door open with my back and entered the first third floor. From across the empty hall, I saw a familiar figure standing in front of an open Good lock. Good morning. Aha! Aha! I found you! Anna? Yep. I dashed to Satch and dropped the pile of flyers in front of him, heaving. Perhaps running up those stairs wasn't such a bright idea. What's going on? What well, brings you here so early? Look! I took a flyer and shoved it in his face. He stepped back and peered at the writing. Hmm. Be a good date. Don't turn your books in late. What's this? Well, I made flyers to help you search for the missing books. I didn't want to keep. I didn't want you to keep worrying on this alone. Working on this alone. So, oh, Anna. He cringed, scratching the back of his neck. That's great, but I don't know that the librarian would be happy with these. She'll think they highlight what a terrible job she's doing. Uh, oh. I stared at the back of the flyers on the floor, stretching my hands to ease their stiffness. Still, he leaned down and flipped through the sheets. What? Did you make all of these yourself? Yeah, last night. I helped me too. The handwriting is really nice. Thank you! And got tired at the end, though, so I'm not sure the ones at the bottom are any good. Hmm. Hmm. He straightened and stretched, then stood for a while looking out the window. Um. You know, I bet I can find something to do with them after all. Really? Really? Like what? Yeah. If we use them right, we can even reduce the library workload. Yay! We helped! We did it good! I hope! I don't know what... I don't know what we did. Exactly, like, how these can be used. But we did Yay! it good, maybe! We, we did the crafting. That's wonderful! Yeah. Yeah, it is! Thank you so much, Hana. Really, it means a lot. <laughs> I had to do something to help you. He smiled and reached a hand towards me, as if to ruffle my hair, but stopped mid-gesture and instead turned back to his locker. Well, I need to get to class early today. I'll be seeing you. See you later. Bye! Have fun! And... Copacetic... What is that? What does that mean? Should I know this? Dude, put it up on the screen! Thank you. He took the stack of flyers and put them in his locker. Then he left for a classroom further down the hall. As I watched the door close, I realized I hadn't been this he hadn't been distant at all this time. Till heart lighter than it was in days, I skipped down the stairs and headed to my own class. And to make up the homework I didn't do last night. Yeah, that's important. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to T-Cower, Shrow, and Love you all for supporting me on Patreon this month. Oh, and uh, pick up the game yourself in the description below. It's free. It's on Itch.io. Free download. Kind of big, but eh, not terribly huge. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Go. Go ahead. Shoo. 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 Take a bath. Or shower. Bathe. You look like shit. Since the party has been decided, I would like to leave first thing tomorrow morning. I trust that no, that won't be a problem for you, Captain. I would rather not be delayed, just for...